So I don't know a whole lot about cotton, but I do know that they make cotton pickers down in Des Moines, Iowa at the John Deere Works there. Huge, huge machines, millions of dollars. Now, when you're talking a gin, you're talking like separating the seed yeah. from the cotton, so, right? So that's the thing. Up north, they don't understand what a gin is. But, uh, Except gin, for a really it's that's what I tasting it's, liquor. That's what I was it's going. very simple. It separates the lint from the seed. Nowadays, we have the rolls. Each roll will have about four and a half to three and a half bales in it. What I mean by bales is 500 pound bales. You have to break it down into 500 pounds to be able to sell it. Everything in the cotton ginning process is USDA stamped. When they put that tag on the side of that bale, that tag goes with that bale to its final destination until it is spun into yarn. And uh, I had the privilege of touring the uh, National Cotton Council and seeing all that process. We actually saw some of our bales in their warehouse, and that oh, was pretty cool. cool. That would be neat. That would be. That was really cool. But.